Anglers came from far and wide to compete in Broome's Billfish Classic this week. It's one of Australia's most extensive game fishing competitions and the sailfish have been putting up a good fight. Yeah, one tag sailfish to Jeff Cooper at 10.54. Thousands of sailfish have been tagged and released during the comms history. Now scientists are getting anglers to collect DNA samples too. In the past, they've had to clip off a piece of flesh for testing. But this year, in a world first, scientists are trialling a non-invasive swabbing technique. A little bit of body slime, a tiny amount, put that onto a special card, what they call an FTA card. They use it in forensic science. And from that, they can just dry that and then they can post it back to the lab in Queensland where the DNA can be extracted. It's research local fishermen and women are proud to be part of. I think it actually sort of enables anglers to take ownership of what they're actually doing on the water, particularly with people that are probably not so educated in uh, the science behind recreational fishing and in particular relation to billfish tagging. Initial DNA data suggests Kimberley sailfish could be unique to this coastline and that could influence the way the species is managed. So it possibly is a discrete population. There's a lot of gaps in our knowledge though. We, like I said, we don't know where they go or where they come from. We don't know about their reproduction. Are they spawning in this area or are they just feeding? And we don't know how fast they're growing. The final data is expected to be published in fishing magazines in about a year. Natalie Jones, ABC News, Broome.